By crossing the T's, dotting the I's and putting U in the middle, TUI have become the world's largest tourism company with 1,600 retail outlets, 380 hotels, 16 cruise liners and 6 airlines with 150 aircraft and their largest airline is based right here in the UK. So join me on this flight with TUI from Birmingham Airport to Parma in Mallorca. Welcome to Blake Edgington Airborne, let's get going. Now, apart from sharing a new airline with you here on Blake Edgington Airborne, there's another reason I chose Fly of Tui today, and that's because it's a bit of a trip down memory lane for me. My first ever flight was on a Boeing 737-200 series with Britannia Airways, who later became Thompson and now Tui. So it's a bit of a throwback for me and a bit of a nostalgic journey, um, but I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope you do too. Let's get to the flight.
hope you're enjoying the flight so far, I know I certainly am. Let's take a look at the seat area on this 2E737-800. So taking a look at the seat on the 737-800 here, you've got your standard safety card, in-flight menu, magazine, and also a retail guide as well for the in-flight shopping. The seat you'll see here does have some signs of wear and tear. This aircraft's about 10 years old. Now one feature of this seat is that the small storage area at the top do be careful of it because you can see these slots at the bottom where something like a mobile telephone could fall out. The tray table itself is of a decent size, you've got the small recess for your cup here and of course as you can see it's fully adjustable as well. Now looking further down the seat the legroom here, the legroom I found wasn't particularly brilliant but the flight itself was rather comfortable for me, had a small amount of space. There are a couple of features of the seat that I found a little bit annoying. You'll notice there's a small bar just here that if you try and stretch your legs out does impact on the space you have and also the supports for the seats here on the side can get in the way a little bit for taller passengers. Here we are in Palma, Mallorca. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you've enjoyed the video so far. It's now time for my final thoughts on today's flight with TUI. And starting off with the good, that has to be the crew that I encountered today and also the flight deck crew. And it's rare for me to mention the guys at the front of the plane, but the captain and first officer today were very, very good indeed. They made plenty of announcements throughout the flight, keeping passengers informed of our progress, pointing out landmarks, and also a very good explanation of why we had a short slot delay in Birmingham today due to traffic over Europe. Europe, which I think is a really nice touch and may even help nervous passengers out hearing from the pilots at the front. Then the cabin crew themselves, they were fantastic today. They were very engaging with the passengers, smiling throughout, and they genuinely be seen to be enjoying their jobs, which is really, really nice to see. And don't forget, as a package operator offering flights and hotel accommodation, that's really important for TUI to get the holidays for their passengers off to the right start. And I think the crew did that today. 
Also, one of the other positives on board the flight is one thing that I wouldn't really mention ordinarily, but I found it very good value for money on board the aircraft today. So the snacks and drink selection, as well as the gifts and fragrances, seem to be very, very good value overall. So it might be something to consider if you're flying with two again, you don't necessarily need to purchase all your snacks and drinks in the airport. Then we come to the negatives, and the first one unfortunately has to be the legroom on board the aircraft today. As you may have seen from the video earlier on, it was a little bit tight for me at about 28 inch seat pitch. And being over six foot tall, it started to get a bit uncomfortable towards the end of the journey. But of course, extra legroom and emergency exit seats are available to pre book. Which leads me on to the second negative on board today's flight, and that is pre selecting seats, because if you're not flying with two before, you may not be aware. You have to book the package before you can select your seats, whereas with a lot of airlines nowadays, you can see a seat map before making a decision on what flight to take. Now, this was fine for me today, but it could mean that if you're with a family and you book quite late on, you may not be able to get seats together. So it's always something to consider with TUI that there's that slight gamble, perhaps, before booking your seats on your journey. Overall, though, I had a really nice experience with TUI today, and it's quite clear to see why they are the world's largest travel operator. It was very polished service, and I can see why so many people do travel with the airline and use their holidays abroad as well. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. As always, please do subscribe, like, and share this. It makes all the difference to me and allows me to create better content for you in the future. And most of all, take care. Oh,